<clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? Mark Berry here. Uh, picked up the 2013 Commander deck. This is a uh, black, red, and green. I don't know why black's my favorite color on here. It's not that great. Um, I really like white. Uh, the standard, I believe, standard deck I'm running is a lifelink. Um, lifelink extort deck. Um, it's got a lot of work to do. I just built it. It's not that great right now. But anyway, this is the new 2013 Commander deck. It comes with three giant foil sized cards, which you can see is pretty cool. Uh, this creature, uh, when you cast this card, put an X. X amount of red, uh, what is this? Oh well, Kobold creature tokens named Kobolds of Cure Keep onto the battlefield where X is the amount of mana spent to cast Kosh. So, uh, you put, yeah, of mana. So if you have, say, six mana when you cast him, um, you get to put six tokens out. They're all defenders. They're only O ones. But down here, you can sacrifice another creature, and then this card gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. So you just sacri You can sacrifice all six. He'll become eleven, eleven. I mean, pretty not bad. Let's crack him open though. have a hard time opening things. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on out. Oh. Oh no. There we go. So yeah, look at that foil. Giant foil. Um, I'm pretty sure all these are uh, just... If you bought two of these, it would be exactly the same. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's what they are. And here's my other foil. And here's the other one. Uh, the giant size, you get three giant size cards in this. And then the exact same cards are also in uh, in the pack here. Um, but they're not foiled in here, I do not believe. No, these don't really matter. These are just mainly... I'm going to play with my giant commander, though. Um, this is the box that comes in, just some, uh, show, tells you how to play type stuff. This is the box. Uh, these, uh, cost $30 for the box, so. 30 bucks. I got it at the comic shop. I didn't intend on buying any cards or anything when I went there either, which, but they got me. They got me good. Um, open this up right quick. <laughs> and there's a hundred cards in here if you no, never played Commander. You have a hundred cards of one of each card. Um, this includes mana, creatures, artifacts, everything. It's a pre made type of pre made deck. Um, there's my Prosh. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, oh, this is a good card. Um, let's go straight to the rares, see what kind of rares we got. Uh, at the beginning of each cup, keep, if you control no snakes, put a 1-1 one, one black snake creature token on with death touch on the battlefield. That's not a bad, that, um, not, not a bad one. Goblin Sharpshooter. These cards look like they're printed cheap, though, for some reason. It might be because this is a, just a easy money maker for them. Uh, Garblin Sharpshooter doesn't untap during the next ups. Um, uh, during your up untap step, whenever a creature dies, untap Goblin Sharpshooter. Tap Gar Goblin Sharpshooter deals one damage to target creature or player. Um, da -da -da -da. Endless cockroaches. 
when endless cockroaches dies, return it to its owner's hand so he does not die <laughs> unless it's exiled. Um, this uh, sacrifice a creature, destroy target non black creature. Not bad. Put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Activate this ability only during your turn before attackers are declared. It's another rare. Uh, let's see what else we got. Brooding Soren? I'm not very good at pronouncing these. At the beginning of each end step, each player gains control of all non-token permanents he or she owns. That's awesome. Um, when Hunt a Troll enters the battlefield, target opponent puts four 1-1 one, one blue uh, something creature tokens with flying on the battlefield. That's another rare. Mythic rare, Shattering, Shattergang Brothers. Sacrifice a creature, well you have to tap, pay two colorless, one black, sacrifice a creature. Each other player sacrifices a creature. Or you tap two for in a red, sacrifice an artifact. Uh, two colorless and a green, sacrifice an enchantment. That's that's not bad. If you can see that. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put X one one black throw throw creature tokens on the battlefield where X is this, that spells convert a mana cost. When you control seven or more thralls, sacrifice this card. Uh, it's not, I don't know. That's a five dropper. I guess in Commander it's not too bad. Silk Last Spider has reach, deals X damage to each creature with flying, where X is, would be your mana cost down there. That's, that's not too bad of a card. Not for a 2 7. <laughs> and f uh, f 5, I think? Yeah, 5. That's not too bad. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a 3-1 black and red <laughs> Graveborn creature token with haste onto the battlefield. Huh. That's a legendary creature, too. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, choose target non-land permanent you control and up to two non-land permanents you don't control. Destroy one of them at random. That doesn't seem very fun. Inferno Titan. Inferno Titan gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three target creatures or players. It's a five for a six, six. Deathbringer. Whenever another creature dies, you may put a one, one counter on this card. Wow. Remove a one, one counter from this card. Deals one damage to target creature or player. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, Fell Shepherd. 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 When this card deals combat damage to a player, you may return it to your hand. All creature cards that were put into the graveyard from the battlefield this turn. You can sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets a negative 2 until end of turn. It's a 7 drop, but it's also an 8-6 with everything. Not too bad. Actually, it is bad. Uh, Stalking Vengeance. Haste. Whenever another creature you control dies, it deals damage equal to its power to target player. Uh, let's show this. The artwork on that is pretty sweet. That's a plane. Trample. Whenever Charnel Horde Worm deals damage to an opponent, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Here we go. Some artifacts. One drop. A one drop. That's not bad. The ring. This is in another deck, I think. Uh, drop it out there. You can tap this for two mana. That's pretty cool. It has to be two colorless, though. So. Um, jar of eyeballs. Whenever a creature you control dies, put two eyeball counters. Alright. Remove all. Come. Put the. Put one of them in your hand and the rest... Eh. That's not... Oh, sorry. It's not too bad. Actually, I don't like it. Plague counters. 
destroyed target permanent. That's pretty cool. That's a seven drop though. Dang. A um, bunch of uncommons here. Let's get all the just all the rares real quick. I'll go through some of the good ones because there's a lot, you know. I don't want to go through 50 cards here. And it also has a bunch of like dual manas, not like dual manas, but like like this, like almost like Guild's Gates. It comes in taps. When it enters the battlefield, you gain a life. It's called Akum Refuge or something like that. I'll show it to you guys there. Right there, right there, right there. Let's see what else they got. They got any good ones? That'd be cool to get a dual mana. Here's a rare mana. Grim Backwoods. Add one to your mana pool. Sacrifice a creature to draw a card. And you also have to pay to draw a card, which is... Yeah. I mean, if you need it, then that'd be good, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Legendary land. Add one new creature token name. Oh, that's cool. Each turn you can tap this, play one red and a colorless, and get a token. Guild's Gate. Oh, it's a Guild's Gate. And then there's all the rest of the manas here. Which, uh, you have black, red, and green, which is the deck I got. Um, let's go to... I've already been on here for 11 minutes, so. Tempt with Vengeance. Put an X-1-1 element creature token with haste on the battlefield. Each opponent may put X-1-1 red elemental creature tokens with haste on the battlefield. For each player who does, put X-1-1 red elemental creature tokens with haste on the battlefield. That's a rare. Whoops, sorry. Sudden Demise. Choose a color. Sudden Demise deals X damage to each creature of the chosen color that's cool and yeah mass mutiny for each opponent gain control of up to one target creature that player controls until end of turn untap these creatures they gain haste until the end of turn primal vigor vigor if one or more tokens would be put on the battlefield, twice that many of those tokens are put on the battlefield instead. If one or more 1-1 one -one counters would be placed on a creature, twice that many 1-1 one -one counters would be placed on that creature instead. The enchantment. <clears throat> um, the rest of these are enchantment rares. This one, sacrifice two creatures, put a 3-1 red... Beast creature token named Carnivore on the battlefield. That's not too bad. Widespread panic. Whenever a spell or ability causes its controller to shuffle his or her library, that player puts a card from his or her hand on the on his or her library. And then lastly, Foster. Another enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, you may put you may pay one one colorless. If you do reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card, put that card in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. So, all these aren't too bad. Could be a little bit better. Um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw these up there. These can be your commanders. Oh, I think we already read all these, though. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I know we have that one. Yeah, we've definitely read this one. I don't remember reading this one, but it's the Death Keeper. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a 3-1 black and red grave born. Yeah, grave born creature. Yeah. Yeah. These, I, I don't know. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, I want to play it. Uh, my buddy Mike, he got, um, he got one as well. We're going to play each other. Um... Maybe we'll film it if you think we should film playing each other uh, to see how these decks run and feel and everything. Leave me a comment and uh, maybe we'll film it. So let me know. Later.